Today we're diving into some lucid dream sex questions. Hello guys and welcome back. Thank you so much for joining in this video and today I, boy do I have a video for you. We are going to be talking about lucid dream sex again because I got so many questions on my video. If you haven't checked it out, make sure you check out my video that I did on lucid dream sex and the pros and cons of lucid dream sex. But anyone who's seen that video, you know that I've gotten so, so many questions and I did want to address some of them just because well, it would it would be rude if I didn't, right? So I have a couple questions that I got um, from that video that I have listed here, and then if you have any others, you can leave them in the comments. I know that it's been getting hard for me to reply to all the all the comments. Trust me, I know I am not ignoring you. Um, I will be setting some time aside so I can try to go through as many comments. I'm not I'm not ignoring you. I love you. So of course, lucid dream sex is when you're able to be intimate with anyone that you want to in your lucid dreaming experiences. So we're going to go ahead and get into some of these questions. How do we stabilize the dream so our experience will last longer? So as you as some of you may know, if we're experiencing something like with a lot of high energy or something that takes a lot of effort from the dream, such as running, flying, having sex, anything like that, uh, the experience can crumble and fade if we don't have enough awareness built and if we haven't stabilized the lucid dream correctly. Basically what an unstabilized lucid dream is like is as soon as you get lucid you're like, oh my god, I'm lucid dreaming, I'm dreaming, I, I finally did it and then all of a sudden it starts to fade and crumble away and you wake up and that is because there was too much excitement too much going on and it wasn't stabilized correctly this seems to always happen in lucid dream sex experiences because there's a ton of physical energy going on and it can tend to wake us up out of the experience so you would basically stabilize it just like you would any other dream but do keep in mind that if you are engaging in that um you will most likely wake up anyways but there are ways that you can get it to last longer so i'm just going to go over the main ones that i talk about and that is just using all of your dreaming senses to engage with the dream. So we don't want to be creating a lot of strong emotion. We want to concentrate on what we see in the dream and interact with that. So this means if you get lucid and you're next to a wall, then just like feel the wall. Be I know it seems weird and creepy, but trust me, like it works. Just feel the wall. You're going to feel the wall, feel your hands, feel the grass, feel literally whatever you can. And <laughs> that is going to help stabilize the experience. The reason why this happens is because you aren't concentrating on your physical sensations and your emotions. You're concentrating on what's happening in the dream and what's around you. And so it can kind of ground you into the experience. And you'll notice when you do stuff like this, your dream is going to get clearer clearer and it's going to get more crisp and colorful it's just everything's just gonna brighten up and don't worry if there's not a wall around you you you're not doomed i promise you can feel anything around you even your hands that's how i stabilize the dream if i'm walking around is i just feel my hands because you can feel the warmth there's a little bit of like a static energy feeling if that makes sense and that's how i stabilize as i'm like moving around the dream and walking around so if you can, before you go ahead and get all freaky and whatever you decide to do in your dream, try to make sure to stabilize the experience um, and that will help it last as long as it can anyways when engaging. No. Or whatever you want to. Okay, how can I stop engaging in lucid dream sex and do something else? I get distract- I get so distracted. Though so this- t this does happen. Sometimes you don't have a lot of control. Um, you'll like know you're dreaming, but you don't have a lot of control. You can't control everything that's happening or control what you're doing. And so sometimes if you see a pretty lady or a really nice looking guy or whatever, um, you just go ahead and act on it and you have basically no say exactly if that- I know that sounds weird, but I'm um, trying to explain it the best I can. The reason for this is the same reason why some people will be able to get lucid and not fully control their dreams in any other way. And that's because we don't have enough awareness in the dream. So ways that you can build awareness is get really, really good at your reality checks because literally you're almost guaranteed lucid dreams when you get really good at reality checks. Meditating a little bit more because that builds awareness, especially if you do it before bed, like even just five to 10 minutes before bed, that is going to change your lucid dream game so much. Or any other way that you can practice mindfulness, stillness, and being aware of your environment. I know that might not sound like that is the answer, but it 
really is the answer. If you don't have a lot of awareness in waking life, you're not going to have very much in the dream and it's going to be hard to control. If you don't do reality checks a lot, you kind of live on autopilot because you're never checking in, you know, throughout the day to see if you're awake. And so you kind of are on autopilot in the dream and in the lucid dream because of that. So if there's any habits you're wanting to change in the lucid dream, make sure to change them in your waking life first. Will their body look like their actual body? So um, this really depends. If you are engaging in lucid dream sex with someone that you know in waking life and you've seen their body, then it will be pretty close to the same. Obviously it's a dream, so things can kind of change and shift around or whatever. But if it's like a celebrity or something that you've never met, your brain is just going to create an experience of what you think it would be like or would look like, if that makes sense. So don't take everything you see in the lucid dream for fact. You have to remember it is a dream and there will be a lot of dream qualities to it because it's a dream, so keep that in mind. Why is the experience in the dream more intense than in real life? So if you've ever had lucid dream sex before, you will know that it is like a really intense experience that isn't really close to waking life. I mean, it's similar, but it's definitely different. And the reason for this is because our subconscious mind stores everything that we've ever experienced in waking life, it stores it in our mind. So this is like the best food you've ever tasted, like the best orgasm you've ever had, like just the best of everything and the worst. It just it just keeps everything. So when you're engaging in things like lucid dream sex, for example, it's going to give you <laughs> the memory of the most powerful feeling that you've ever had and replicate it again for you in the dream. And also on this, if you are ever in the lucid dream, I suggest that you go and try to eat your favorite food in the lucid dream because you'll realize it tastes way better than it's ever tasted in real life and I don't know if that's fair. But at least we have a place where we can go and indulge and eat as much chocolate as we want to, right? Is that just me? If you could give anyone wanting to try this some advice, what would it be? I'm gonna tell you right now that my advice would be not to concentrate on this because as you guys know, I teach not just how to get lucid, but what you can do when you get lucid. You can talk to your subconscious, you can rewire your brain to get rid of any fears, phobias, negative habits, thought patterns, addictions, belief systems, depression, anxiety, insomnia, PTSD, and literally so much more. We can practice skills and wake up with improved skill. We can problem solve in our dreams. So when you're just engaging in this, it definitely feels like you're just limiting yourself. So if you've never done this before and you're like really interested in what it's like, definitely go ahead and do that. But make sure that it doesn't consume your whole entire mind every time you get lucid because really missing out on a powerhouse of knowledge and so many adventures and experiences. So again, do 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 what do what you want to. Do whatever you feel like you should do, but just keep in mind that there is infinite possibilities in a lucid dream and the only limit is your mind. So, think about the most creative, most adventurous thing that you could think of. Think about the one thing that you would want to do. Like if there was no laws of physics, like if you could do anything in the world, what would you do? You could do that in a lucid dream. So try that out. Make a really rad list of tons of stuff that you want to try and do that. That's what I do. That way I always have a plan and it's always something new. All right guys, well that wraps it up for this video. Thank you so much for joining. If you are wanting to learn how to lucid dream in 30 days or less, make sure to check out my 40 part lucid dreaming video course. Also, I almost forgot to show you guys this shirt is from the merch shop. I love it so much. It is like the softest sweater I have ever had. And you can get this at my merch shop and I will leave that in the description for you and the comments so you can go check it out. But subscribe if you haven't already. If you want a lucid dream in 30 days or less, I'm your girl. And if you want to rock some cool dreamy merch, then I got you on that as well. <laughs> Alright guys, love you so much. Thank you so much for joining and as always, I am wishing you endless love and endless lucidity.